Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the innkeeper, and today I'd like to welcome you all back to Prison Architect Mega Max. Here we are, right now, our prison slowly looking like a spaceship, as is tradition when it comes to the Prison Architect series and the game itself. Whenever I try to create a prison, it always ends up looking like some sort of spaceship. I imagine that is the same with everyone else. If not, then you are a heathen to the Emperor and you will be vanquished, apparently. <laughs> You'll be vanquished, it's a new word. Came up with it just now, funny enough. It might be a word, I don't know. Anyway, it seems to be... Well, there seems to be a little bit of an incident right now. A bunch of people getting tasered. Why are there lots of people getting tasered all of a sudden? It seems to be just this random thing where the guard's like, you know what? Let's just start tasering people. Uh, okay, some gang members seem to be playing up. I can't remember there only being 12 members. Unless someone got killed. They're really riled up right now. Interesting. But anyway, a few things to go over. I've been doing a little bit of off-camera work, and it's been going fairly well. So I finished filling in the rest of this gang block that we have right here. The G block, as it were. As well as the solitary cells that we have right here for the people that are of legendary stature. As well as people who are higher up in the gang rankings. You know what I could do? I could really have two solitary doors. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, no, not really. They, they, I don't think they're ever going to bust their way through that door without us responding. So yeah, we don't need to really worry about that too much. So yeah, these are classified as cells now. We also need to classify some of these other buildings over here as cells. Let's go ahead and do that. There we are. I need to readjust my mouse. I need to readjust everything, to be honest. Right, let's just let's sit with... Good posture. It is a Saturday morning. I've been very busy. And now I can actually sort of chill out, play some prison architect. I've been looking forward to it all day. Here we are. I say all day, all morning. The day has not passed yet. So I don't feel like it's right to say all day, all morning, all that kind of fun stuff. I really wish these cells, I could allocate them to be of particular priority. I don't know if they could be the solitary cell blocks. Interesting idea. Because we do have the solitary cells over here, and I feel like the gang members are going to be acting up a little bit more. So having a cell block or solitary cells closer might be a good idea. Hmm. I'll think about it. The whole point of z of the of these sor these solitary cells. I don't know what I'm trying to do there. The whole point of these solitary cells is that we have it close to the canteen so that we can easily feed our solitary prisoners. Because I'm. If I'm assuming correctly, they should be getting fed. Just the whole point, right? Let's go to our... Actually, no, we need to allocate these as common rooms as well. We're not going to put anyone in here just yet, other than the, the legendary prisoners, because we can get away with that. The common rooms are the next big thing. And as you can see, these rooms are disconnected. So these yards don't connect, these common rooms don't connect. However, the only way they do technically correct connect is through the security room right here. Which is supposed to be the case, because that way we can keep control of all of these rooms. It's not really going to work as well as I would like it to, mostly because the gangs are going to have an ever-bearing presence. But also, why does it matter that they have an ever-bearing ever presence? Probably this is why it's a good idea to have them all sort of mixed up. I don't know. I mean, really, it's not a good idea to have them all mixed up. But they have everything that they need inside this cell block. We just don't want them to go around and do anything else. So, yeah. Well, do I, do I care about that? I might see how it works out, because I might be going a bit too far with this gang block here. I just like the idea of it, because it's kind of cool. So if we can get some true automation going on and stuff like that, that would be very interesting. However, you know, I'm, I'm talking ahead right now. I've got a lovely cup of tea. I'm hoping I can finish that before I forget about it, and it just sort of ends up being a gloop. Gloop of tea. <laughs> the gloop of tea, as always. Right, let's get some benches. I like... Oh, that's a good spot for a bench. Two right there. We probably will also want to get ourselves a radio. We'll just stick that in the corner. And then we can get ourselves two pool tables. I know they're not... You don't have to have them spaced out. It just sort of makes sense in my mind to have them spaced out. Let's see. We'll have a bench right here. Wait. Click on the bench, but it keeps giving me the jail door. And probably... Hmm. This is quite interesting. That's why this is interesting. Yeah, okay. That's why. That makes more sense now. Now I have two like this and another radio. 
The radio is pretty much just there to add a little bit of recreation. I'm pretty sure that does... Is it take, does it take up recreation? I can't remember. Environment or... Yeah, recreation. A board prison is dangerous. You can... Yeah, TVs and radios. Fill up the recreation tree. tree. I remember that. Tell you what, I'm not the innkeeper I used to be. I remember things now. You better watch out, everyone. I remember what you did to me, Timmy. I'm coming after you, buddy. Right. <laughs> Let's see. So we want to allocate this particular area to... I would say staff only, but for some reason it's sort of not disconnected. I don't know why it's not. Let's get a guard over here. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? We need a cleaning cupboard around here, don't we? We could put one right here, really. We can just sort of uh, detach that and make that into a cleaning cupboard of some sort. Or I could disconnect some of this yard and the same on the other side and make that into a cleaning cupboard. Oh, you know what? I could just disconnect these, cell these cells right here and turn them into... There's a lot of things we can do when it comes to cleaning cupboards. And we do wish to have our prisoners eventually clean up their own messes. If we ever get to that, well, I mean, you expect too much of me. How much wood are we selling? Okay, we're not selling too much right now, although these trees are starting to mature. I'm wasting a lot of time zooming in and out right now. It's probably jarring people a little bit. All right, let's go back to logistics. No, deployment. For some reason, that is... These cells are separate, but these ones are not. If we go to rooms and disconnect them and reconnect them... All right, and then... Put the game on for a second, and then go back to deployment. Hmm. That's a bit strange. I have quite a few jail doors between this area as well. Just to make it a lot more tedious for any legendary prisoners to try and break their way out. I should have some, some sort of gas system in between this walkway. That or I can have the sort of Resident Evil laser grid that just chops them into loads of pizza, pizza slices. That would even be... In, that would be incredible. That would be amazing. True engineering capabilities. All right, let's wait for these to accept themselves into their lives. We also have the new laundry room as well. So we have to, before I forget, because I've just remembered it now, go to the laundry distribution area. Okay, it's nowhere near as bad as I was anticipating. Right, let's just right-click on both of them. All right, so you need to... Okay, right now these areas aren't... Disconnected for some reason. I don't know why. I keep forgetting how it works. How some areas are not connected and then others are. It's a bit strange, but we will just disconnect this bit for now. Right, let's just stop that. Right, there we go. We want you to have all of these areas completed. Don't need to worry about that too much. Oh, didn't, went out of it there. Laundry, and then you. Oh. Right, okay, stop. That, 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 that. No. That, that. <laughs> That. Eh, okay. Bit weird. I can't shake this off. Alright, there we go. And then you could do that. And probably this bit over here as well once we get this fully allocated. Oh, we can do it now, actually. There we go. Nice. And then just click right. There we go. Cool. So let's remove this. And let's also allocate this as a supermax only area. There we go. We could make it staff only. I wish I could make this one corridor staff only. What we also wish to do is make this bit staff only and this bit staff only. Just to stop them from getting around as well as this bit can be staff only. This can be medium sector. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the gang members into medium sector. So that they can all go in this particular area and nowhere else. Let's also make this into a medium area. Because for some reason I've not allocated these as cells yet. We can hold quite a large number of prisoners now, which is quite nice. All right, there we are. Also, I did have the the I did have a quest to remove weight benches from yards. All I did was just disconnect it from being a yard, and it seemed to work out. Mm -mm, breaking the system. Anyway, take another drink. I look at the tea, and I'm like, okay, it's gonna get cold quickly. Take a drink. Mm. Like my life depended on it. So I'm feeling pretty good about this whole disconnected system with the, that we've got right now. What I'm going to do is just turn all of these prisoners into medium sector. Ooh. Yeah, medium sector. And the, only re the reason we also want to do that is so that we can give them a different meal time as well. I don't think we even changed the supermax meal time. Oh no, we kind of did. 
So maximum and medium security right now, they have, generally, quite a similar system. Although we do wish to change some of these rooms into max section, the max sector rooms now as well. The same thing with this yard and the common room over here. Although, actually we'll make those stuff. Well, I'm going to get new prisoners in, so why the hell not? So yeah, just max sector. Max, max. Anything else? Uh, yeah, the library, the chapel. Should I make the library? It, I've, once again, it's one of those things where I would rather them go into these common rooms. I would rather them chill out on those common rooms and nowhere else. The infirmary's quite far away from here as well, which is also something I need to probably think about. Might need to have another one nearby. I could even have one just sort of in the kitchen area. Or I could have it in there, where I previously had it. It's a really interesting looking shadow that we've got right there. <laughs> They're like claws. I think Zoidberg's watching over us. You know what? I'm quite happy with Zoidberg watching over us. No access areas as well. We need to also make these areas orange. Well, no, these, these can be staff only. Hmm. No, okay, maybe not. We need them to actually have a way through. The only reason we've made this staff only here is because, well, the prisoners should never have to get out of here unless they transition over to the canteen during mealtime. Anyway, let's disconnect. Oh, okay, let's have the game run. There are no canteens accessible to this cell. All right, okay. Forgot about that. That is also something we need, that is also something we need to do. Alright, oh, it's because we made it staff only. Okay, you know what? That might be what's going on there. If anything, we, what we could do is just make it super max only then. Alright, that should work now. There we go. Figured that one out quickly. <laughs> so, but oh well. Just means that they will just go through this way. They won't go all the way around and then end up fighting people inside the gang blocks. So I quite like the idea of that. What we're going to do is deselect this area as cells. There we are. Hopefully we will move them accordingly. It just means move them in here. And you know what? You can be on the absolute other side. I like the idea of that. So they're getting a bit rowdy. They should be much happier though, to be honest. Can someone grab these prisoners? They're getting a bit frustrated. There we go. And him, he's just chilling out. Yeah, this should be much happier though, because we're going to be accommodating to a hell of a lot more of their needs. Since they're going to have everything in here. They've got so many more things to look at. Although it does make their room a little bit cluttered. We also have a phone booth as well, which I think I've not yet dis uh, connected to the phone tap right here. Let's do that. And we also need to have... I don't know how many of these we can really connect up. Quite a few, apparently. Hello! The media have moved on to something else, and the bill banning weights benches from yours have been repelled. Feel free to reinstall them. Okay, cool. I do believe there was some exercise issues. Which... I think I had a few bef at the start, but it didn't really matter, because I think they still ended up using these workbenches. But anyway, if we go to yard and just reconnect them, just so they, they have them as a need... Same thing over here. What about over here? Did I disconnect these ones as well? No, I didn't allocate these as yards. Okay, let's do that. What's going on over here? A little bit of an altercation. Very big fight right now. Maybe a gang fight. Let's just have a quick gander. Yeah, it's a gang fight. We've got lots of reds and blues that are connected to each other right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is why we should split them off as best as we can. Because they're just going to fight all the time. More fights going on. So what's going on right here? Um, I think it was just past... Okay, so we've just entered sleep time. And I think we're dealing with their sleep need. Which did get quite critical, oddly enough. But some of them don't seem to be dealing with the, the need to sleep. Which is quite interesting. Maybe they're just bugging out a bit. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So what we shall do is demolish... The indoor area here, well, is there any way for me to just remove? I don't really want to destroy these items. Clear indoor area. Objects. Sell objects. Dismantle objects. There we go. 
So yeah, just dismantle all these objects because we're probably going to be using them again. Especially that heater. Although we do have a boiler in here that won't be connected up to anything. Which does remind me, did we get the boiler set up over here? I can't remember. Logistics, temperature. Yep, looking good. A little bit, sh little bit cold over there though. Probably could get myself another heater. But everything over here seems to be very well lit. Which is quite nice. Very lit, my friend. <laughs> very lit. I don't know why I'm saying lit now. But I am. And I'm proud of it. Are we selling lots more wood? I feel like our money's going up a bit. Is it, I think it's gone up by 20 grand, but that's... Oh, I, I think that's because we finished one of the cell block quests. Mm. Well, not quests, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Dismantle. Okay, so let's just have a quick gander before we start turning some of these gang members into prisoners. So yeah, these are all medium sector. So that's what we definitely want. All medium sector right now. And we want to change our meal times for the medium sector while we're at it. Um... Right, there we go. So that's what I want. I need to have this so it, it's separate. The meal times really should just be an hour between, but really it might be better to have them two hours between. It sort of means mostly a complete shift in pattern, really, yeah. It does require a bit more of a shift in the pattern. So if we were to have a meal time just immediately for normal security and then lock up right afterwards because they should have more than enough time to go over here and eat so we'll go over here they'll eat and then they'll go out and then everyone else will come in and have I don't know it's a bit weird because they're gonna have all the new stuff but we are gonna be creating food for both of them I assume and the game will calculate accordingly of what we need to feed everyone in the prison anyway since this canteen is connected to everyone so we don't need to worry about that too much we also would like to have Eating time probably here for normal guys. And then right after that, lock up again. And before that, we want to have lock up there as well. Just so that we can have them disconnected once again. And then it will go to free time. It's just mostly to separate them a little bit during their eating time. So they don't fight each other as much. Well, not that they fight each other as much, but just because... The gang members are going to fight regardless of anyone else being within the vicinity. It just means that it increases the chance of everyone else joining in in a riot. And that is absolutely what we don't want. Seems to be a bit of a problem over here as well. Um, we have not yet put our armed guards in here. So I think there's a bit of a fight. And I forgot to get this sorted out. That was very quick. That was... Didn't take long for him to lose his mind there. Right, Armed guard patrols. Let's buy ourselves two more armed guards. At the same time, we also want to have a normal armed guard. Or a normal guard here and here. So where has he gone? Ah, there he is. Tried to sneak off, did we? I think he decided he wants to live in that cell block now. I wonder how he got out. Did we just let him out? Is that what happened there? We are just letting him in. It's funny how he did go all the way around there, though, which is quite cool. But there we are. We have a bunch of arm guards. Probably don't need that many arm guards in there, do we? No, we probably can get rid of two of them. And just have three normal guards. What we will do, though, is we'll have armed guards going between this walkway here. So that when they go through to have their dinner, they don't, you know, cause any issues. In fact, we'll have an armed guard here instead and another one right there. I think that will make matters a little bit simpler. While at the same time having a normal guard. Okay, we'll get rid of that one. So, yeah, this patrol we can get rid of. We'll have a normal guard patrol. Two here. In fact, it might have to be free. Yeah, free on the line. I like the idea of that. Might even need to bump that up to four at some point. But I won't go too crazy just yet. The reason we want the armed guards, of course, is because it adds that suppression. Which is very important. Look at that. 61 people are suppressed. In it's just amazing. That's so good. Dog handlers may also add that. I wonder if they do. 
be a cheaper way of getting that suppression. It might not be as prominent. Anyway, let's get this gang allocation thing sorted out.